hello guys welcome back to my channel and i hope everyone is doing well today i'm going to share this chicken light soup recipe which is intensely delicious see yeah, you don't want to miss this recipe so if you want to see how i made this keep watching for this you're going to need chicken and i'm using heavy hand chicken please do not use soft chicken for this recipe you need uda seed also known as negro peppers if you are going to be using a lot, you may want to take out the seed because if you use too much of the seed, it can make your soup bitter. You will also need ehu, also known as calabash nutmeg. You will need crayfish, red bell pepper, plum tomatoes, red onion, ginger and garlic, which adds a lot of flavor to this dish. You will need potatoes or plantains if you prefer, chicken seasoning and scotch bonnet pepper. So to begin, I'll chop up the onion. I showed two onion earlier. I'm going to chop up the smaller one. This one I'll use to cook the chicken. So I'm going to chop this up and set it aside. Next, I'll go ahead and blend the ehu and the uda seed with a dry meal until it is very smooth. So next I'll cut up the ginger just like this. I like to cut them up into smaller pieces before blending. That way I don't have long strings of ginger in this soup. And you guys, when I was about to blend this, something happened today. Ah, oh, my blender got broken. So heartbreaking. I cried though. Well, I blended with one of my backup blenders. So yeah. Next I'll place the chicken in a pot. Add the onions you can blend this if you prefer add the blended ehu and uda seed one chicken seasoning some salt and the blended garlic and ginger paste Rinse out the blender and pour in the water as well. Next, I'm going to stir this up, cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes. So while that is cooking, I'll take out the seed from the bell pepper. The color and flavor this bell pepper added to the chicken light soup is just amazing. You have to try it out if you haven't already okay so i'm going to be cooking these veggies that's the bell pepper the tomatoes and the onion so that's what i'm prepping now once i'm done taking out the seed i'm going to poke holes in the onion this will help um, the onion to cook faster you know i also did the same with the tomatoes as well so i'm going to go ahead now and place it straight into the chicken this is um, 15 minutes later I'm going to place the bell pepper tomatoes and onion into the chicken so it can cook So after about 15 minutes, I'll take out the veggies and blend. Next, I'll sieve this into the pot. You can skip this process if you prefer, but I wanted this soup to come out really smooth. So 
So once that is done, I'll stir that in and then add a little more water so it can cook really well. The chicken is not cooked at this point. It's heavy hen and it takes time to cook. Like I said, please do not use soft chicken for this recipe. So I'm going to add a bit more water. I'll add some of the crayfish, just a little. I don't want it to be overpowering. I'll stir that in. At this point, I also tasted for seasoning and salt. I thought I needed more seasoning, so I added a bit more. So lastly, I'll add the potatoes. I cut them in half. I also left some of the skin on just because it looked pretty. I'm going to toss that in there and let it cook. Once the potato cooks, your soup is ready. So 20 minutes later, I checked the potatoes with the aid of a fork and as you can see, very soft. So this is how I knew that my soup was ready. I'm just going to give it one last stir and guys, at this point, the aroma in my kitchen was just heavenly. This soup was super delicious. So I also tasted again to make sure salt and seasoning and everything was good and it was just the way I like it. Perfect. So finally, I'm going to toss in some basil leaves and our soup is as good as done. You can have this with rice, pounded yam. Oh my God, I had this with pounded yam and it was explosive. You can have it on its own. You can decide to replace the potatoes with yams or plantains if you prefer and it will be just fine. Try this recipe out and let me know how well you enjoyed it. Send me pictures on Instagram at The Joyful Cook and I'll see you all in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to one or two of your friends. Somebody might find this video helpful and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.